beautiful Sagittarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your full moon reading for December 2021. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other Tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for credit card details and I will never ask you for your personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on to your reading, my beautiful Sagittarians. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, so this is your season and the full moon is the last full moon of the year. It's in Gemini and it forms an exact opposite with your sign, uh, your sun sign uh, on the 18th of December, okay, which actually powerfully aligns with Jupiter, your planet of expansion and good luck, good fortune, which is in Aquarius. So expect your energy to feel a little bit more boosted and guided towards those goals, those dreams and those intentions. We have a two week portal of manifestation. So it will see you being more creative or getting a burst of progressive energy uh, with ideas to gain clarity. It also occurs just before Venus goes into retrograde. Um, so it's about creating structure and planning um, for those goals, dreams, and intentions. Uh, also, this alignment really encourages you to be honest with yourself. Now, how does it affect you directly? Well, it's in your first house, which is the house of identity. So personal growth is important during this time as well. Also, you may be making changes in terms of uh, your uh, home life or the way uh, that you dress in some way. Uh, you know, you may be revamping. Not that you're unhappy with what you uh, have so far. It's about enhancing uh, because it is the self house of identity. Also, I feel like you are going to be embracing your truth and really expressing yourself, your unique, wonderful self and owning it as we move through this moon period. Now, let us see exactly what's coming out for you. This reading is a little bit different, so I'm gonna get all the cards first before we talk about uh, your reading. Just to let you know as well, I will be doing a free personal reading competition for one lucky subscriber to win um, a, a personal reading. I'll announce the winner on the 31st of December uh, of this year. Um, so it is the last day of the year and um, I'll let you know how to win that right at the end of the reading as some people are here just for the reading only and some people are here for both, okay? So let us see what is coming towards you. Uh, now this time period also signifies important business opportunities or contracts, okay? Um, and because it is the house of identity, it is about you sort of really uh, acknowledging how you do business and um, how much of that business is actually for you. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, you may be thinking about if you're working for somebody, you may be thinking about um, setting up an entrepreneurial ship in order to um, be your own boss. OK, because this, the first house is uh, about your identity. So it's about you um, bossing up or elevating in some way. Uh, now, I'm just going to get the overall faded energy. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide? It's so interesting uh, that your your last card in the shim shamanic deck there um, is clear target and it is of an archer. So uh, bang on point there. Uh, now we've got the star card, which is about you recognized for some sort of success or the stars are aligning for some positive sort of um, illumination, clarity in your world. Uh, we've also got the Fool card, and we've got the High Priestess, as well as the Lovers. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? We've got number 20. Whoa. We've got the Mouse. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. 
we've got the mountain and they want me to go one more so i will thank you so much for it guys oh. uh, we've got the fork in the road and we've got the moon so there is a decision point coming up for you um, in the next couple of weeks um, and i feel intuitively you're going to navigate your way to the right place now it's interesting because you've got you've got literally a successive numbers so weird okay uh, i shuffle that deck i use it for all the other signs you literally got 20 21 22 23 and then you've got 32 which of course is a reversal of your 23 weird okay it's not weird it's exactly what you're meant to get uh to be honest we've got perspective okay thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful sagittarians what do they need to know uh we've also got success thank you so much uh, we have the moon. The moon figures heavily in your chart, actually. Uh, we've also got intuition. As I said, intuitively, you're going to navigate this time period. Um, we've got despair. Okay, so that connects to your mouse there about any anxiety. You're going to intuitively know a way forward through that. And we've got six of cups, innocence. Well, they want me to go one more, which is unusual, but I will give it to you we have vibrancy okay now the six of cups can connect to uh past situations six of cups and because you've got um number 20 which is judgment energy there could be a renewal of something in your world but let's go and see it doesn't have to be an x or anything like that uh so just so you're aware um now let me just get that in a more structured way so we've got be a sport be a sport. I feel like you're tackling something very difficult. Um, and it says here, you're being asked to have more fun or focus on being a team player. You could be great at any sports career or in the field of health and fitness and improve your finances by considering working as a team or doing collaborations. You have that um, lover's card right there. So you could be thinking about partnering up with somebody, perhaps even having like a you know some sort of business on the side maybe setting something up with a family member or a friend um as well as what you do already but of course um you tend to be um when you think about an archer that's your energy uh it tends to be like a solitary energy keeping your eye on your targets but you may be working with somebody closely and you're actually aligning yourself with the goals and you you both want the same thing okay so i feel like you're going to be working together um and i feel you know they're just giving me this energy of hustle 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 which i feel like you've been doing uh throughout 2021 i feel like you've literally been um Oh gosh, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Uh, they're giving me, you know, when, uh, you know, American football, they barge each other in the shoulders. They're actually showing me that uh, there have been moments in 2021 where physically you've actually been either walking down the street or something or people barge past you or something like that. Um, I feel like you are. Uh, how can I put that? I feel like you are uh, you've come up through some challenges and I feel like now is your time to hustle and people need to move out of the way because you're coming through uh, for success okay but whatever it is I feel like I feel like there's definitely an energy here of connecting more to a playful side uh, lightening up a little bit on this um, but as it says here you could have uh, you you could be gravitating towards a health and fitness kind of jobs or um, or something that is in sports. I mean, you could be like a sports um, commentator or you could be wanting to be someone who writes articles about uh, sports. So uh, I feel, uh, I mean, you've got entertainer here and a halt as well. So um, I feel like you are going to be in the spotlight for something with this. It's, it's a creative endeavor. Now this could be something that is a string to your bow. It may be a secondary stream of income or it could be a long held goal. I feel like something is coming back around. Your moment to shine. You may have been feeling like even if you're working in a team, you may have felt that you've been overshadowed or unappreciated over 2021. And I feel like now is the time for your moment. Uh, this is your moment to be in the spotlight and celebrated for your talents, okay? Even though we've got entertainer there, I mean, you could be someone who gravitates towards being an entertainer, whether it's in, uh, you know, uh, movies or music or an artist or whatever. Uh, I feel like, you know, you will um, celebrate your creative gifts and earn financially from them it says here put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so that you can get noticed and that's what I mean Sag like you know when people get barged walking down the street 
uh, on the shoulder or something. Sometimes you're like, am I invisible? Can, can, can they not see me? What, what, what was that? Especially when we're going through a major pandemic, you may be like, why did they feel the need to come into my personal space <laughs> when there is plenty of space on the sidewalk? So you may be kind of like thinking of moments where you're like, am I invisible? But I feel like now you're actually going to step into a spotlight and be seen. Okay, it's not your natural state. You're normally working behind the scenes. You let your work talk for itself. And I feel, uh, but now there's something here where you're on target and you're going to thrive in recognition. Okay, it says here also, you could be drawn to careers in theater, dancing, music, or any type of entertainment. And is there a talent that you could turn into money? Time to think outside the box. So I really feel like there is something you're returning to because there is a return energy here, a judgment energy where you're weighing up your soul path, your life's purpose, and working out what it is you really want to do, what your soul's calling you to do, okay? So if it is a creative pursuit that maybe you put on pause because we've got halts there, um, I feel like you're revisiting it and I feel like you're going to take action on it and it's going to be very, very successful. If you felt like your career has been on hold in some way or you lost your job because of world circumstances and you've been at a halt, I feel like there is movement forward. You're going to be... Um, recognized for your potential and therefore I feel like you're going to be entering into a team where you are a team player or but I feel like your individual gifts set you apart from everybody else and that's why they want you to be a team player because although you stand out from the crowd when you're working as a team it's about pulling together and sort of um you know one goal kind of uh, energy now we've got halt here and it says money has come to a complete halt or money has been slow coming in don't borrow money than more money than you can repay and debt might be piling up so i feel like um, if that's you you may have felt uh, really trapped in some way of course uh, they're indicating here that you are going to meet a target and you're going to come out of that energy okay so of course watch your finances don't spend more than of course um you um sort of bring in but I do feel like you're finding an alternative route in order to make more money so it could be that talent that you sort of thought yeah I'm really good at this but it's never gonna bring me any money you'll you're gonna be surprised okay so if you've got like a hunch or an idea or something that's whispering to your soul that you should do whether it's even create like a YouTube channel or um, a TikTok channel or Instagram or whatever it is that making you feel like you know what maybe I should just do this I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith and you're going to surprise yourself, okay? Now, we've also got prayer. Whenever you, ask, whenever you ask for in your prayers, believe and it will be yours. Worship, devotion, pleading, faith, okay? It's number 17, the star energy. And your first card here is star energy. So I feel like you're being granted a wish or whatever it is you've been praying for. Now, my readings are not about religion. I feel like it's about you getting clarity and having uh, like a miracle sent to you. So no matter religion or anything, I feel like whatever it is you've been focusing on or praying for or surrendering to and asking for divine intervention you're going to get respite you're going to get an intervention and I feel like it's very positive it brings a lot of hope because the star energy is about hope it is about uh, serenity it's about peace and renewal so again you're getting this energy of revitalization or your energy is powering up okay so I feel a lot of clarity for you a burst of progressive energy that sees you moving forward on something that's been stuck or stagnant okay it's something you've been praying for uh, for quite some time uh, also we've got the bird who is eaten cannot fly with the bird that is hungry Okay, so that's about keeping your passion alive, okay? Uh, the, the bird who is eaten. So it's almost like when we have too much of a good thing, okay, we become comfortable, we become stagnant, and we lose our motivation, our drive to, you know, um, it's, it's like to seek something other, okay? So for example, you may have taken a job which pays a lot of money, which is wonderful, especially during these times, but you know, you may have fallen out of love with it, or you may have felt like your passion, you're not being stretched. So you may feel comfortable and safe, but also you're not being challenged in the right way to keep life interesting. And Sag, you know more than anyone, you're a fire element, life, you need to keep it interesting because uh, you're a movement energy, okay? So I feel like it is about looking at that balance between having enough and having too much. 
of a good thing or a negative thing, of course, but of the bird who is eaten cannot fly with the bird that is hungry because, of course, it is satisfied. It, has, it loses interest, okay? it loses its passion, its drive, uh, its motivation. Um, so we've got day and night cannot dwell together. Okay, now day and night cannot dwell together. So I feel like uh, this is about things being worlds apart and that there always has to be an opposite um, in terms of a yin and a yang energy. Okay, and always tomorrow is another day. What is being felt in this moment? If it is negative or if it is positive, it too shall pass. It is a fleeting energy. Emotion is fleeting, okay? But I feel there's something here that you've gone silent on. Now, if you've got Scorpio placements, something similar came up in that reading, okay? Um, because they're really highlighting the handprint over the mouth. So either you felt, especially in 2021, you felt like you could not express yourself or you went off radar in some way and you felt um, that you um, have been keeping a low profile in some way. The first house is activated for you because the sun is in Sagittarius, which means you're going to sort of embrace your truth. You're going to open up and you're going to speak your truth, okay? It's healthy, it's healthy. They're showing me an apple right now. So either you are eating an apple as you're listening to this reading, or I mean, maybe you're thinking about going to buy apples or you just, holding an apple in the grocery store, apples tend to be about healthy energy. Also, they tend to be about, you know, fruitful energy, things growing. Um, so I feel like uh, they're showing me here, um, it's almost like you're going to start looking at er everything that you have battled away to win. It's almost like you're going to be looking back on how far you've come. Okay, you don't really speak about your accolades, but I feel like you're actually going to um, talk a little bit more about your accomplishments and it's actually going to magnetize more opportunity towards you. Okay. Um, now we've also got clear target. It's number 18. So number 18 is the moon card, which is about uncertain energy, but I feel like you are still on target. You're still in the right place, the right moment. You're exactly where you need to be. It is no accident that in all of the decks, you managed to get the one with the archer in it, okay? Especially being the archer yourself. It says, someone has chosen you and it is coming in fast. Choice made, serious intent, hunt. So either you're being headhunted for an opportunity. If you've lost your job, for example, I feel like they're choosing you. Uh, if this is love for you, because uh, this is a sh shamanic deck here, so it's not meant to be about love or uh, finances or anything like that. Um, I feel like the focus is you're choosing you, so therefore you are now being chosen. The energy is being matched, okay? So either you're being headhunted for an opportunity or uh, you're being chosen for some sort of um, success. I feel like success is relative. It is all about perspective, but I feel like you're being put in the spotlight for recognition reward. It is your time to shine. They're choosing you either to give you a bonus. I mean, the time period economically is difficult, so not every company is going to perhaps offer a financial reward, but it may be that they're going to acknowledge that you've done a good job and give you some sort of reward. Or if you're looking for uh, an opportunity, I feel like you're being chosen for it. You've got a lot of potential. You're brimming with potential, okay? Now we got the star energy, which of course is about hope, but it's also about uh, healing and renewing your energy, revitalization. You're going to feel very inspired over that full moon period. Things are gonna just come to you. Ideas, you know, images, just uh, any hunches, I would go with it, okay? I feel like you're turning something into something greater, something better, okay? The stars are also aligning for you to be very, very successful and nurturing. I feel like you're going to give all of your energy um, to something and it's going to tur turn out exactly the way that you'd hope for. Now, they're giving me a name. They have not been giving me names recently, which is unusual, um, but they've just given me a name and the name is Greta, Greta. Uh, I feel like they're saying Gre Greta. My, I've got a lazy tongue, so uh, Greta. They're telling me to pronounce it properly. So it's Greta. Okay, Greta. G-R-E-T-A, I guess. Greta. So if your name is Greta, there's something in this message for you. I mean, it could mean great in um, another language, but I'm not sure. I can't really uh, comment on that because um, I can't know every language ever. But uh, Greta is what they're giving me. So I'm going to look up the root meaning of the word and see what it means. Uh, if it doesn't connect to you, 
in terms of name. So if it is your name, there's something in this message for you, but if it does not connect to you uh, in terms of name, then it could mean that you're about to meet somebody called Greta who will actually offer you an opportunity, or it can mean uh, that um, it's not meant for you. The person um, whose name is Greta, their attention may have wavered from the reading and they want to bring them back on in. It doesn't mean the whole reading is not meant for you. It just means that that part may be specifically for that person. But I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight. There is recognition, reward, and good news coming on in. I feel like you've been challenged. I feel like 2021 has presented a real test of faith for you. And I feel like um, there's been a lot of confusion and moments of despair. And I mean, that's an obvious thing to say because of the time period we're living in, of course, uh, in terms of humanity. But I feel like on a personal level, you've really tried to keep the energy up and you've been exhausted. I feel like you've battled away and battled some more. And I feel like um, I feel like you have recognized that you're not alone um, because uh, the lover's card um, is it's in the resistance position. So I feel like you're separating from things or people. Uh, you've disconnected from those things that you love and uh, like friendships. I feel like it's not that you've left them behind. I feel like you've just gone a bit silent, okay? But I, I feel like these people are starting to reach out to you and miss you a lot more recently. And I feel like you're starting to recognize where you are really truly loved, okay? Um, now, the lover's card can also be about choice. So I feel like you are only giving your energy to things that truly deserve it. Also, I feel like you're following your heart and anything that is not in alignment with your goals, your needs, whether they're people, friendships, situations, I feel like you are sort of separating from those. And I feel like, yeah, you, you're sort of uh, making the right decisions in terms of your energy. I feel like you there is a yearning here. Uh, now, for those Sagittarians who are single, I feel like the yearning is to find a soulmate. I feel like the yearning is um, to find a counterpart. I feel like there is a new start here for you. I do feel like you will meet somebody new, uh, but I feel like I'm going to pull a quick card on that for you just to clarify. I feel like you, you can meet this person at a spiritual retreat or a place of spirituality, okay? Uh, or where, yeah, there's one coming in and it takes you by surprise. It's like when you're just feeling completely fed up, like there's no options in front of you, four cups. As you can see, you're bored, fed up there. Um, the universe brings you on in a cup of love by surprise. So even in tumultuous energy, there's going to be an offer of love that comes out of nowhere. I feel like it's connected either to a spiritual retreat or some sort of um, place where you go to find peace, okay, and connect to your center. Um, so yeah, that's, that's if you're looking for love. For those who are in a relationship, um, that has been going through some radical changes or some difficult times, perhaps, uh, you know, um, they're giving me the words cabin fever. So perhaps you've been feeling like you're living on top of each other, especially been working from home and trying to navigate a dynamic where um, it's been difficult. I feel like you and the person, uh, I feel like you will actually um, heal and sort of connect to yourselves uh, both of you on a deeper level, you will reconnect to each other and find peace. I feel like you will bring uh, an energy. Um, how can I put that? I feel like you're going to um, revitalize the relationship with each other. And I feel like uh, both of you, there's a bond between you that's actually unbreakable, but you may have been going through difficult times. Okay. Um, now, also, you may be partnering up in terms of business, but I feel like Ultimately, you're honoring who you are at your heart. You're being raw and uh, raw as in R-A-W. You're being raw and open with your emotions. You're saying what you mean and you're meaning what you say, okay? So I feel like people really respect that about you. If they can't handle the truth, that's their problem. Of course, be diplomatic, my beautiful Sag. Um, but uh, if it doesn't warrant it, then just be your wonderful self. I feel like you are owning your identity. I also feel like you're shining your light, okay? I feel like uh, you're in a new phase of life where you're being more healthy. I feel like you're implementing like um, an exercise and spiritual regime where you're actually uh, going to stick to it, 
okay and uh, I feel like there's a wonderful new start here for you as well um, we've got the uh, full card which is about taking a leap of faith diving all in okay the um, full card is about hope it's about having faith that anything is possible you have a lot of positive energy as you look forward to 2022 but it's not been all plain sailing I feel like you've been cynical you lost hope at times I mean those things are natural but I feel like there's a, something here where um, you're now prepared to move forward for a new path so either you are thinking about moving home moving jobs doing a bit of a plot twist in your world I feel like you're taking a leap and I feel like the pathway will be revealed to you as soon as you take the first step okay um, I feel also there's gonna be an energy that's a bit more daring in 2022 um, where you um, are reaching heady heights in your career you're staircasing further and further and further up it may feel a little bit daunting because you may feel like the further you go the more success you get the more you feel like you have to hold on to it but I feel like you're actually going to navigate uh, with intuition and I feel like there's a very positive blossoming occurring for you you're also very very psychic so I feel there's going to be um, moments of sort of psychic flashes uh, throughout 2022 now I will be doing a yearly chart uh, in the next couple of weeks of course but I feel like the high priestess is about uh, you being mysterious people seeing that you went off the radar and wondering where's Sag where, where did Sagittarius go so I feel like you're appearing quite mysterious to people uh, I also feel like especially if you are um, looking for love I feel like people are magnetized towards you and I feel like you will take a leap of faith with somebody when it comes to love um, don't be too aloof of course if you are interested in somebody um, of course navigate the time period um, and sort of but I feel like open up to it because I feel like there's a personal growth uh, spurt happening for you just as you move into 2022 that sees you connecting with people on a different more open level which is really refreshing for you as well okay now we have the garden so the garden is about community okay it's about not being alone it's about networking so I feel like although you may have felt moments where you had to disconnect go off the radar I feel like you are opening up to community or networking in some way it's number 20 as well so I feel like you're going to reconnect to those people that you disconnected from unless of course they were unhealthy energy the garden represents cultivating your surroundings and making sure it is healthy okay also I feel like there's a real desire here to either move to the country or move to a spot of nature for peace for harmony I feel like you are finding your solace you're finding your sanctuary um, and I feel like you're coming back to your center um, now also number 20 is the card of second chances the judgment card so I feel like you're thinking about your soul path and looking at hobbies or things that you used to be good at or used to enjoy that you no longer do and I feel like you're bringing them back into your world to really enjoy um, a creative sort of spirit okay you could also see because we do have that um, uh, Venus goes in retrograde okay uh, until uh, mid-January you can also see people returning from your past that you used to be in relationships with loving relationships with so expect the unexpected with exes returning as well now we've got num we've got the mouse number 23 so this is about fear okay there's a little bit of anxiety here uh, and this uh, again I feel like it stems to do with love or partnerships in some way feeling alone um, so if you have been battling away in 2021 and it has been very very difficult they're trying to show you that uh, you are not alone and that um, it is not if you're feeling moments of despair or loss of hope um, the last thing you probably want to be is alone but you know the more we cut ourselves off the more we actually become solitary so they're just saying if you can push through that energy and reach out to somebody and you know connect to even one person um, I feel like they're going to show you that you're not alone and that actually there is a lot of love um, people actually do miss you they may not say it but they're actually missing you because they've given me this this sign of you know people feeling that you're mysterious that they're trying to work out where did you go okay um, so I'm just gonna pull a card on that mouse for you because they're also indicating no playing small okay uh, you're meant to shine especially with that star energy there um, so don't play small be your wonderful self um, embrace your identity yeah independent spirit 
there is going to be um, financial reward coming on in here for you. The Nine of Pentacles tends to be about your commitment to your goals and dreams and it paying off. You may be worried about um, you know, uh, finding financial stability, but I feel with that Nine of Pentacles, it says you will be self-sufficient. You've got this, okay? Uh, whatever your plans are, I feel like you're dedicated to your plan and you will make it work. Also, I feel like you're trying to control, have self-control over your fears and try not let them get the better of you as you move through a very uncertain period. Now, it's easier said than done. We've all had moments of like a sheer wobble and worry, um, but I feel like you're really trying to be grounded um, in those and not let them swamp you, okay? Uh, Nine of Pentacles, also I feel like you are figuring out what it is that makes you truly happy. Uh, so you're giving investment in terms of your energy, where your energy flows, investment and opportunity and abundance goes, okay? So as you can see with this Nine of Pentacles, she's putting her hand on all of those pentacles. She's enjoying her freedom because the bird represents freedom. And so again, I'm getting this energy of perhaps you are doing two streams of income there's two it feels with duality that that lover's card as well so either you're partnering up with somebody you're also doing something alone i feel like there is two streams of income coming on in here both very fruitful but one you may have worried about i feel like the secondary one is going to take over and there's going to be a lot of money okay so if you've been worried about a job for example if you lost a job or lost an opportunity Number 20, that judgment card says there is going to be an opportunity that comes back around. It is the card of second chances. There's no such thing as a missed opportunity, only an opportunity that was not meant for you. Otherwise, it would have stayed by your side. What is meant for you will never let you by okay it will always come by you. So I do feel like this is uh, you being very self-sufficient and overcoming a lot of obstacles. We got number 21, which is the mountain, which means you are strong enough to overcome any challenges, okay? I feel like it's been a tough journey and uh, something may be frozen out or you may be freezing something out of your world that is no longer necessary, but number 21 means that there is abundance. You're entering a new cycle. You will overcome the challenges and you will step into abundance. Um, now, they're actually just giving me two words, the artist the artist. So either you are the artist or, I mean, artists tend to be visionaries, mavericks, people who, um, you know, set the trends. And Sag, I feel like you are a trendsetter. So it could be that you're visualizing something or you're getting creative on something. You're thinking outside the box. So the artist can be about you creating your own destiny uh, in some way. I mean, maybe you are an artist. Maybe you're watching, there's a film called The Artist, maybe? Because they're showing me a movie now, and I can't really tell you. I've not seen it, so I can't really tell you. But I feel like maybe there was a film called The Artist, so either you just watched it, or it's on your schedule to watch tonight, or just before this movie or uh, this uh, video that you, uh, you're you listening to me on. So please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure how it does. We have number 22, so there is a fork in the road. The fact that you've got the, the choice card, the lover's card, and you've also got the fork in the road, it tells me that you've got some major choices ahead as we move forward. Now, there is one path that will uh, sort of lead to a lot of reward. I mean, both do, but one is a more difficult path than the other. I feel like you are choosing the right path, the one that, um, as you can see, uh, the star will light the way. I feel like you will find the way. Intuitively, you will pick the right decision, okay? So uh, you may have some choices that you're worried about making the wrong decision. I don't feel like you're gonna make the wrong decision. You're gonna take a leap of faith and intuitively find the right path for you. So again, trust your instincts and your hunches. It's number 22 when you reduce it. That is four, the number of the emperor strategy, success, have a plan, and I feel like you will um, create stability. Um, now they're just giving me something, one moment please. Uh, could you please, please be more clear? Sorry, I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading, so... Uh, So what I'm just seeing is, it's like a sparkler, you know, like uh, for bonfire night fireworks or you, or you, you have a bonfire or 
you know, you've got that little stick and you light it. It's like a little sparkler. And it's just someone making sort of shapes. I mean, that can mean that there is something to celebrate, of course. I mean, it could be the time period, festivities. But they're showing me that. So either you're creating photography with that or some sort of light photography or you're doing something creative with a sparkler or maybe it's someone's birthday. Maybe you've lit a sparkler as you listen to this reading. I'm really not sure how. But again, it is about light in the dark. Because the way that they're showing it to me, I can't even see the sparkler stick. I just know it is a sparkler and it's in the dark. But the light is like sparking off. It's, it's beautiful. Um, so I feel like there is a light in the darkness is what they're showing me. There is a light in the uncertainty. Because uh, I feel like it's been very challenging for you. The numbers that you're getting, they're quite challenging numbers. It's number 32. Again, when you reduce it, it's five. You've got five there as well. Um, but I feel like you're overcoming the uncertainty. Um, I'm going to pull a card with this one because I feel with the moon energy, this is the moon energy, I feel like there's been fears that you're letting go of and I feel like opportunity just pops out of nowhere and throws up a whole set of choices. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. The Hierophant, you're separating from something. You're not giving your energy. You may not even be talking about it. I mean, this is either separating from a group of people. Knight of Swords in the reverse. You're not giving any energy to this situation. Also, the Hierophant in the reverse is like a rebellious energy. So you could be rebelling against something by not giving energy to it. Yeah, it's like not giving, not giving. Every every card that they're giving me is like you're not giving to something. So the Hierophant can mean either a separation. If you're going through a separation, I feel like you're not giving any more energy to it. You're focusing on yourself. The Hierophant, you could be uh, leaving a job or an institution. Uh, I feel like this is something that's already happened and you are actually now just moving past it. So I don't want you to be worried thinking, oh my gosh, Baba, am I going to lose my job uh, I, or my relationship? I feel like this is something that's already happened that you're going through, okay? And I feel this is something that, I mean, the Hierophant, as I said, is kind of like rebellious energy. You're being a maverick or you're, you're not doing as you're told or you're bucking rules or regulations or something. You're not giving to something. The Page of Swords in the reverse says, you know, you don't even want to think about it. You're not even looking at it. You just, you don't, there's, you're giving no communication to something. You're giving no action to something. Knight of Swords in the reverse. You're not, you're doing you. You're making changes for you and you alone, not for any other situation. Okay. Um, and we got the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So again, this is about things being one-sided. You're not giving. Now, I feel like, You've been struggling with something and now you're just not giving it your worry. Your, it's like it doesn't even deserve your energy, whatever this is. I'm going to go with a different deck just to clarify all of that. Can you please clarify all those cards? Ha! The same, isn't it? Wait, I got the Knight of War. Whoa. I mean, they're giving the same energy here. Exactly the same, even in a different deck. So we've got the Knight of Swords. This time it's in the upright. Okay, so you're moving away from this energy. And the lovers in the reverse says you are separating from something. And the Eight of Wands, but it's a slow, gradual, like I'm not even giving this my time, my energy. Um, yeah, it's just a slow fade is what I feel, and you're just phasing it out because you feel like it does not deserve your time, your energy. It's an interesting uh, one. Um, it's, it's an interesting one. Yeah, I feel like you're choosing another path. That's what I feel. You're choosing another path. You're going your own way. They just give me a song. <laughs> so um, the song is You Can Go Your Own Way. That's why I said you're going your own way because they just gave me that song. So either you've played that song just recently. I mean, it really connects to your spirit about being a nonconformist, doing things to suit your own individuality. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm not really sure what they're coming through with on that. But anyway, we've got perspective. Okay, perspective. And it's number 12, which is a hangman energy. 
Again, it connects to this halt. Something's been on hold or you felt very stagnant, but it's given you a new perspective. It's allowed you to release what no longer serves you, weigh up your options, and really examine and re-examine your motivations for what you do. And ask yourself, do you still want to do this? I feel like um, this is you surrendering something, letting go of something, and not giving it your energy or your time in order to receive something greater, something better. Okay, um, and we've also got success. Whatever you've been waiting for, it will come. It's like you're on target. You're going to reach success. This is about you hitting jackpot in some way. Some sort of news is coming on in. They're showing me an envelope right now. And six of wands tends to be about news as well. So some really good news coming on in that sets you apart or puts you in the spotlight. Also, I feel like you are finding that motivation to put yourself out there, put yourself into the spotlight. You are an influencer. Your voice is important. You need to be heard. Your, I feel like your dreams, your visions, they have value and they have purpose. This is for your highest good of all. If you're asking yourself, are you on the right path? The answer is yes, okay? The answer is yes. Shine your light, shine forth. You're stepping into some sort of recognition. We have the moon. It's been uncertain, but I feel like out of the blue, there is an opportunity that intuitively you are grabbing with both hands, okay? Uh, as you can see, this figure here is holding a bouquet and uh, is grabbing it with both hands. So I feel like even in uncertainty, there is an opportunity for you to be successful or you to build a solid foundation and be comfortable in terms of your emotions. I mean, the Queen of Cups is an intuitive um, and also... It's about uh, being a healer, but it's also about self-care, self-love. I feel like you are putting your own needs first. You're maturing in your emotions. Also, I feel like you're always giving out your energy to so many people. Sometimes you forget about yourself, my beautiful Sagittarians, and it is about you coming back to honor your own feelings. Also, I feel like you're recognizing uh, your beauty. That's an interesting energy to get from this card. I don't tend to get that from this energy, uh, but there, I feel like you're starting to um, care more about your your look or your beauty, probably because your first house, I'm picking up that first house energy of your identity. Now they show me someone dyeing their hair. So if you are the sort of person who dyes your hair, I feel like you're dyeing it a radical color, okay? Um, I feel like you set yourself apart. Uh, you're really exploring who you are in terms of your personality, and I love it. I love it. So if that's you, there should be someone dyeing their hair. So either you're dyeing your hair as, you, as you're listening to this reading, or you've just dyed your hair, or you're about to. I feel like this has come up before for you. Someone who maybe changes their hair or their identity. You're very, I love that about you. You, you embrace your individuality. I feel like you're going to be doing it again in the next couple of weeks. Okay, now they keep talking about something ending and this energy of uncertainty and despair. So I have to pull a card uh, for you about this because something, there's a new start. The, the full card, you know, we cannot have a new start without an ending. But uh, they just said there's no such thing as endings, only new beginnings. Wow. Um, so I'm just gonna pull a card on that and see what that is for you, okay? because it's causing anxiety. Something is coming to an end. So either it's a job you were in or you're, uh, you felt like your inspiration for what you do has been lacking. I feel like you find your motivation again. Can you please clarify? How would you like to proceed? Thank you so much. Separating again. Four of Wands in the reverse. Either leaving home, you're moving home, something has come to an end, or you are uh, deciding to move home because you want to live elsewhere. Um, or you are separating from a job. There's definitely you separating from something here. It may cause you a little bit of anxiety. Two of Wands in the reverse. There's a slight delay. And we got the Two of Cups, which means there is like something else to replace. Uh, two of Cups is an energy exchange. It can be about love. So for example, if you're separating from somebody and you feel like you're never going to have love again, rethink that because the Two of Cups says there is a soulmate out there for you. The Two of Cups tends to mean, you know, a gift exchange. So it's about recognizing that you deserve something to recompense you for your talents. 
So for example, you put all of your love, care and attention into a, a job, you get financially rewarded for it or you are uh, respected for what you do. So it's like an exchange. So I feel like something you feel you're leaving, you walk into something even better. There's a proposal, either a business proposal here or a business partnership here that allows you to thrive and succeed and do something that you love. Cups are about following your bliss, your goals, your dreams. So whatever it is you're separating from, they're saying, don't worry, there is something better. What is meant for you will never pass you by. Something better is coming around. Also, I mean, we got two and two. So think about your numbers. You got two and two, and if you add them together, you've got four. <laughs> so your numbers, synchronicity, means that there are positive changes afoot here for you. We've also got Six of Cups. Now, Six of Cups is about thinking about the good old days, longing for the past. Now, this could be because I know we're going through a major shift. You may be worried about the time period. Will it ever come back around? Will we ever get back to some sort of normal? The Six of Cups can also be um, about wanting to reunite with people that maybe you separated from for a while. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a quick card on that Six of Cups because I do feel like with that Venus in retrograde, there is someone from your past that you thought it was over with coming back around to offer uh, some sort of love. I feel um, now you may not want that person, but I mean, the lover's card there, the separation, everything tells me that something you separated from that you thought was over, I feel like that person is reaching out. Can you please clarify that Six of Cups for my beautiful... Sagittarian, someone you're not talking to, Queen of Swords, you may have felt like this person went very cold on you, maybe was unkind in some way, did not take accountability for their actions, may have even been dishonest, you may not trust this person. This is the person who may have made you shut down your emotions, you thought it was over, the death card, this person wants to rebirth it. This person may have Scorpio in their chart, or strong air in their chart, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Could also be a Sagittarian as well, is what they're giving me. Queen of Wands, that's the that's a Leo energy. This person finds you very attractive. There's a lot of chemistry. You may have felt like this person had disconnected from you, or you may have felt like this person had somebody else, because we got two queens here. Um, I feel that this person finds you attractive, and um, there's a lot of chemistry. They want to come on in, and I feel like they're seeing you in some way succeed, or be in the spotlight, or have this glow up that the cool kids talk about. I feel like you're succeeding or you're confident and self-assured and you're, you're doing really well. I feel like this person's coming back around because of that. So just be a little bit mindful, but I feel like you think this is over. This person's coming back, okay? I feel like they want to talk. So just be a little bit mindful of that because I feel they're seeing you do really well or be very self-sufficient. And I feel like there's a, there's a codependent energy about this energy that's coming on in. So just be a little bit mindful. And, I mean, we got the Queen of Wands again, so that is vibrancy, that is about confidence. I feel like you're embracing 2022 with that confidence. You're also an influencer. Creative collaborations are very starred at this time as well. So I feel like you're capable of forming very strong friendships after a period of separation or going off the radar. Also, the Queen of Fire, she expresses herself. Okay, so I feel like you are stepping into your, your first house of identity very strongly, expressing who you are, owning your uniqueness, and, um, you know, is a go-getter. I feel like you're getting that go-getter energy where you thrive and survive and succeed uh, in something. But I feel like you've battled a way to get there in the first place. You've held true to your vision, and no matter what, no matter what has come your way, you're still shining your light, trying, 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 battling against the odds to um, get to a place of peace and serenity and success. So if you have lost your motivation, your drive for something, I feel like that picks up again um, throughout the moon period. Uh, you harness that energy of the moon. Literally, uh, if I'm looking at these cards right now, they're showing me um, them like that okay so you're literally absorbing the energy of the moon you may feel like you are run on moon cycles as well um, but you're literally absorbing that 
moon energy. It's going to be a lot stronger for you because it's your first house, um, but you will feel that power up energy. Okay. And I feel like you're getting major clarity as you move through this period that helps you into 2022. It's a more positive energy in 2022 than it has been in 2021. Oh, thank you so much for guys going angels. Uh, but I feel like they want you to not be alone. I feel like they want you to connect to those people that you've disconnected from. Of course, only if they deserve a place in your life. Now, the cards we, oh, interesting. The cards that we got is isolated, contemplation, reflect. So again, they're picking up on that energy where you went dark or off the radar for a while. And I feel like it's gone on too long is what they're showing me that uh, it's you've gained your wisdom now. I mean, this is hermit energy, number 54. When you reduce it, five plus four is nine, the hermit. So this is about reflection, knowledge of self. But I feel like you've gone off grid so that you didn't have distractions. It was something you had to do. And I feel like you're coming out the other side. Also, We've got number 17. Every time I shuffle this deck for you, my beautiful Sagittarians, I get this card for you. Sage. It is the root word of your sign. Sage. Wisdom. Cleanse. Purify. Clear. You're clearing out the old to make way for the new. And this new moon, this full moon period helps you do that. Okay. It's about future growth. Also, it says sage your home and personal space regularly to expel any negative energies and promote mental clarity. That's what you're getting, mental clarity. You're very intelligent. Thoughts become things, my beautiful Sag. So I feel like you're making way for that um, clarity, but also for that serenity and that hope, that renewal energy. Number 17 is a star energy. And you've got number 17, again, your faded energy. Time to step into the spotlight for success. A miracle is being sent to you. Uh, and I feel like whatever it is you've been trying to manifest will become easier in 2022 because I feel like it's been very, very difficult for you. OK, um, now I'm just going to uh, thank you so much for guys going angels. Um, they're just showing me that especially during the time period that we've been living through, you may have felt like a caged bird, uh, especially with certain restrictions going on around the world. Um, they are indicating that you will have a little bit more freedom. Um, as we move on into 2022. Um, I'm just going to go get that card one moment, please. Um, okay, so the first card here is I have permission. I have permission. And it's number 22. When you reduce it, 2 plus 2 is the emperor, number 4. Okay, so I have permission. You have permission to be your wonderful self let your wonderful light shine okay also we've got i am responsible for my life okay number five again it keeps coming up all your numbers are adding up to five now five is the the hierophant card um so which is about tradition guidance and it is about you know bucking trends being rebellious in your energy but also it is about structure and learning um, and your commitment to your goals and dreams and that crown chakra just knowing that you will be successful and overcome any challenges also i feel like number five is important for you so either uh, you were born on the fifth or five is in some way relevant to your reading could be that you live at number five or you have no five people in your family or uh, five is important okay i'm not sure why but it really is because uh, they're now actually showing me in the water number five so um if that's you, there's something in this message for you, okay? Uh, just as I um, said that, they just gave me a sentence. It's from a movie. It may have come up from you before, but I feel like someone said it, and I'm hearing it. So if it was you who said this sentence, as I said, number five, then drop a comment in the box below. It's not going to resonate for everyone. The comment was, Johnny Five is alive. It's from that film. Um, Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. Uh, it's a little robot, Johnny Five. Maybe it's called Johnny Five, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's like a way 80s or 90s film, I can't really remember. Um, Johnny Five is alive. So that's, if that was you who said that, there's something in this message for you. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much. You're not gonna believe it, Sag. I'm gonna let you guess, unless you saw it. I'm not gonna let you guess what this trinket is, okay? I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds. Did you get it? It's a star. Star energy. 
Number 17, star energy. Stepping into the spotlight is important. You're healing. You're letting your unique light shine. There is a lot more hopeful energy here. Any confusion or despair is being replaced with hope, okay? Also, look at the starfish. It's got five points on it. There is definitely a connection here for you. Uh, just going to clarify one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. So five is important. So is the star energy. So this is about you manifesting and being inspired, okay? They want me to put this on the star. Of course they do. So I'll leave it there. Um, now starfish is also about goals, dreams, and achievement, okay? So look up the meaning of starfish as in terms of a totem animal or a creature, um, and I'll leave it there, okay? I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If you'd like to be with a chance to win a free personal reading, uh, my guides, uh, gave me an image from a very famous film, um, which is Ghostbusters 2, um, and there's a song that is in that scene that's from Ghostbusters 2 that they were giving me, um, which is um, Jackie Wilson, Your Love is Lifting Me Higher. So the competition this month um, is, I want you to play that song really loud. As soon as you finish this reading or whenever you have a moment, play that song really loud. Listen to it. Dance to it, let that vibration of it move you to raise vibrations, okay? And if you put in the comments box below this sentence, love is lifting me higher and higher. Love lifts me higher and higher, okay? So I just want you to put that sentence, love lifts me higher and higher, not is lifting, or either or, but love lifts me higher and higher. And I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 31st of December the last day of the year, and I'll upload a video to uh, acknowledge who the winner is. When you put that comment in there, I will acknowledge your uh, comment with a heart, which means I've entered you into the competition, okay? And that I will choose the winner on the 31st and upload their name on the 31st in a video, okay? So good luck, my beautiful Sagittarians. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Sagittarians. Love and light.